Alrighty, so where I had just been gathering the Barossa wild lettuce, the non prickly bitter lettuce, there is poison ivy everywhere. Let me go ahead and show you a close up. All this right here is poison ivy. Now there's honeysuckle vine in there. There's vetch, the little purple blooming plant in there. Uh, you can see that this this little field right here has there's chamomile and feverfew. Uh, and then we've got dandelions everywhere. And I did just see, here's one little prickly lettuce coming up. But because I'm afraid that I may have gotten into some poison ivy and I am very allergic to it, I'm going to pick me some plantain while I'm out here. This is the broadleaf plantain, also known as plantago, is the Latin name for it. And this is what you put on spider bites and envenomations. But it's also called a band-aid plant. And you can put it on cuts and abrasions. But I'm going to crush it up. And then I'm going to rub it all over my arms. And what it'll do is it'll act as a kind of scrubbing action. But then it has psyllium inside, mucilage, that is is a very healing substance uh, and it will then put a protective coating. I should have put some on me before I went in there, but as usual I got excited and went on in. And, uh, and so this will protect me if I did get exposed to any of the poison ivy there. I see I see some milk plants, milkweed plants going to be coming up in there as well. But uh, but this plant is in my top 10 favorite plants because of its versatility internally and externally, its life-saving benefits and its life-giving benefits. So until next time, Remember to eat the wild things.